In today's video, we're going to be moving some building supplies to a house that we can't access by road. We're going to be using the helicopter to sling some roof trusses in, and uh, this is how we do it. Hi, I'm Rick, the pilot teacher, and today we're going to be moving, well, I'm not going to be moving, Jeremy's going to be flying some roof trusses to a house that we can't access by road. Um, Jeremy is our long line pilot. He's really, really good on the line. I don't just, I don't have that experience. I'm nowhere near as good. So when we need to set stuff with pretty good precision, uh, Jeremy's our guy. So today I'm going to be walking around in a bright yellow helmet, being his uh, eyes on the ground, communicating to him by radio to help him make his job easier. So let's go and see what we get up to. So the first thing we have to do is when the delivery truck shows up with all the supplies on we have to basically get it unloaded and get everything slung into uh, piles that weigh around about maximum of like 1800 pounds today's quite windy um, so we're basically just going to split the trusses into the equivalent weights and basically get them all rigged up so that Jeremy can just fly in and we can hook him up time at a time to each load and then he can fly it down to the property One thing you can see right here and just in the top right of the screen is we've got to get the truss around the correct way. So what Jeremy is doing is he's using a tree to prop the roof truss up against and he'll turn it around the actual tree itself uh, because at the moment the truss is 180 degrees the wrong way. So he's just basically put the truss up against the tree, moved the helicopter slightly to start the truss turning as you can see and then once it started to face in the right direction, he flies it over to us so we can grab the tag lines. Um, it's a really neat trick and uh, it's, uh, it's really helpful. And it, uh, when these trusses are really big like these are, um, it's really hard when you're up on scaffolding to try and turn the trusses around uh, themselves. So using the tree is a great trick and now the roof truss is in the right orientation so it makes it a lot easier us to just grab the tag lines and help to um, guide it into position whilst Jeremy holds it. Is how you use a helicopter to move building supplies to a house that's way down the lake and you can't get there on the ice road by a truck. Hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and I'll see you next time.